is Nikki High, and I'm the owner of Octavius Bookshelf. I was actually born in Chicago, Illinois, uh, but I've lived in Pasadena for 45 years. So I discovered Octavia Butler when I was about 16 or 17 years old, um, and the first book I read of hers was Kindred. It's my all-time favorite book. Um, prior to reading Octavia Butler's book, I had been introduced to some sci-fi um, and I just really wondered why in those stories I never saw anybody that looked like me. And, you know, it, it wasn't lost on me that people writing science fiction uh, set in a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now, and there's not a black person in sight. And that just didn't sit right with me. Um, I read Kindred, which it, it, it involved time travel, not to the future, but going back in time. And I was just, you know, immediately uh, swept away by the way she was able to write, the richness of her characters, uh, the fact that her characters looked like me, looked like my mama, looked like, you know, people I knew. That was really important to me, and I've been a fan of hers ever since. I'm a reader, definitely. I started reading very early. Uh, my mom says I started at about three years old. Um, and I, I read, you know, because I enjoyed storytelling or, or to read stories, but once I started reading more books, I found that it was a way for me to escape. Um, sometimes, I mean, growing up in the 80s uh, between Chicago and Pasadena was not easy. <laughs> so um, books really allowed me the opportunity to dream bigger, to fantasize, to learn how big this world is, how much I didn't know. Um, and so I've just you know, been surrounded by books ever since. I decided to leave my job and open my own bookstore because I believed that much in it. Um, as a Pasadena resident, a store like this didn't exist for me and I've always wanted to go to a store, a bookstore where black writers, indigenous writers, people of color writers were prioritized. Um, larger bookstores, obviously they have more books, more titles, so they're fighting for shelf space and around February I would see a lot of black writers on display but throughout the rest of the year it kind of gets lost in these big stores. So I knew there was a need that, that needed to be filled. I started to think about this maybe about 10 years ago, but three years, three years ago, I just started to read books about opening a bookstore. I started talking to independent booksellers. I started having conversations with my husband and my family and my friends like, you know, do you think I could pull this off? And they were all like, yes, you definitely can. So I started thinking about financial models and you know researching publishers and how do you make this work um, and then in May of 2022 my grandmother passed away unexpectedly she was my biggest cheerleader and um, it was at that moment that the light just went on and I said this is happening this year um, and that was further uh, emphasized after I spent a few weeks in uh, South Africa and Swaziland this past August and I got to stay with these women who work together they help take each other take, take care of each other's kids they had tea together they were laughing working the music's playing they're doing their little art and I was like man I want to go and create something like this like I'm happy already but I could be happier I have a skill set for marketing I have a skill set for business I have a degree in organizational leadership so I've been doing that for corporations for decades and then I was like well if I could do it for them I know I could do it for me I came home a week later I gave notice and here I am I want this store to be a place for community I want curious minded readers to come in find new books, discover old books. I want this to be a space where we're safe. I want to host community events. I want to celebrate us. I want to celebrate all of the contributions that we've made to Pasadena and the world at large. And I think this is a great place to honor one, Octavia Butler, who is our hometown legend. Um, but we have so many other writers, uh, black, indigenous, and other people of color that I want to promote. I want, 
I want kids to be able to come in and see themselves in the stories. I want them to come in and see me uh, you know, running this business. I think that you can't be what you can't see. And so for me, my blueprint was SOM Books, which unfortunately is not open anymore. But I feel like SOM created the blueprint for me to look at it and be like, oh, okay, I could do that. And I hope that somebody comes in here and feels the same way. I mean, further, uh, you know, in a world where books are being banned, like the most simple, basic books that give just a, a, a very super official view of the black contribution to America are being banned. I think it's more important than ever that people of all backgrounds are coming into the store and finding literature to help enrich their minds to, um, you know, get them to ask more questions, maybe change their perspective. Um, so it's, it's going to be a fun place. My name is Nikki High. I'm the owner of Octavius Bookshelf. We're located at 1361 North Hill Avenue in the beautiful city of Pasadena, California. I'm just one block north of Washington. Um, our grand opening is February 18th at 10 a.m. I'm going to have some food, prizes, trivia, uh, coffee. We're going to have music. We're going to mingle. You can come in and shop. We're going to have a great time. So again, that's February 18th. It's in two Saturdays at 10 a.m.